And welcome now to the weekend edition of Fresh Bread. Reverend Phil Anderson here with you, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church in Kansas Avenue, United Methodist Church here in Topeka. It is Saturday, September 30th, 2023. Really glad you spent a few minutes. Really been looking forward to this one because this is where I'm going to just catch you up on a few things that are going on in the church and what the church is doing. And I'm, I'm not even barely going to scratch the surface here, but, but let me just take about four or five minutes of your time. And again, thank you for joining me. Well, first of all, we are seeing God move in many different ways in the church. And some of it is under the surface. Some of it's like an iceberg. You know, the top of the iceberg's out on top of the surface of the water in many cases. Not all of the case, but most cases, you'll see a little tip of it. That's why they call it the tip of the iceberg. Most of it, about 98% or whatever it is, is under the water. Well, I believe that's what God is doing. There's a lot of things going on underneath. I see some of it. I don't know if you do. You may not be privy to it. You may not be aware of it. So I want to share some of that with you. I don't say I know everything that's going on. But I'll never forget back in the about the month of January, I believe, I looked at my wife as we were leaving church one day. I said, God is on the move. God is doing something. And man, has that not proved to be the case this year. And so I just want to share with you how God has opened the doors for us in so many different ways. We've had a lot of people come into the church. Some have stayed, some have left. But you know what? We try to minister to everybody that comes through those doors, whether they're here for the long haul or they're just here for a few Sundays. And we pray that what's said in the church, the gospel message that I hope is going out every week is going to encourage them. Hopefully some seeds are planted in their lives so that they can trust in Christ. That's what it's all about. And so I, I can go into that more, but, but we've had a lot of people come into the church. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing them in. We have prayed with more people in the, the community, in the neighborhood, on the streets, in the, at the rescue mission, in the parking lots, just as we've run into them. Uh, the church is not confined by the walls. I want you to understand, friends, that the church is not the building. We sometimes have such a hard time understanding that this is not the church. We are the church. The church is way bigger than this building, whether it's the Oakland Church building, whether it's the Kansas Avenue building. It's not the building. It's us. We are the church. And if we got that through in our, and, and, and understood it, we, if we really got it through our concept of what the church is, it would revolutionize how we see things because we take the church with us wherever we go. It's like we're the church with feet on with with feet on it. Yeah, we're like we're walking everywhere we go. We're bringing the church into that area, whether it's at the store, whether it's in our neighborhood, whether it's when we're talking to our family members, whether we're conversing with neighbors who may or may not even know the Lord. We are going to spread the fragrance of Christ wherever we go, and that's what we've got to do. So, so I think we're seeing that more and more. We've been able to pray with people in the parking lot, as, you know, where we've had people invite their lives in, uh, invite Christ into their lives. They've been born again, we believe. It's happened at Oakland uh, on several different occasions. We've had healing services where we believe the mighty hand of God has come down and we've seen miraculous healings. We praise God for that. We give him all the praise and the glory and the honor for those healings. We've had the revival services. These are things that you've actually seen, but it's what goes on below the surface, all the relationships that have formed. And a lot of these you're never going to maybe see in church even. A lot of these are people that we are ministering to as we see them on the streets of North Topeka and Oakland. It may be people that are in our own families. It may be friends of our family members, but we are ministering as best we can and encouraging people to de deepen their relationship with Christ wherever we go. And, and, and that's really it. We don't ever just turn it on and turn it off like, well, I've clocked out for the day. I'm not going to be doing any ministry work today. No, we continue to do ministry work wherever we go. And so I've really uh, enjoyed the challenge of trying to help the people in the churches go into a new season of their faith journey. And that would be how can we enlighten them and get them uh, out of their little ruts that they may be in. They don't even know they're in a rut. You don't know you're in a rut until you get out of the rut. You know what I'm saying? So you, you're in the rut. Let's, let's just trust me. Help me help. Let me help you get out of the rut. It's like, it's like if you've slid off the road into a big snowbank and you're stuck in a snowbank for three days, you think, well, this is all there is. Hey, I, maybe, maybe somebody comes along with a wrecker and can hook up a winch and pull you out of that snowbank and get you back on the road. That's what I believe the churches have to do with the people who are stuck in the churches but aren't moving anywhere. Has, have you grown spiritually this year? That is a question for you to answer. I, every Sunday I get up and I just, I just beg you to, to get into the Word, to, to give your heart to Christ, to, 
take him with you when you leave that building to get into the Bible, to get into prayer, to get into fellowship, and to make Christ not only the first priority in your life, but the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. Make him everything so that you've dumped yourself out, get all that selfishness out, all of your ways of doing things, and bringing Christ in and letting him revolutionize your life, just like I praise revolutionizing mine. Am I there yet? No. Am I getting closer? Yes. Hallelujah. God is leading me every day. I really truly believe that. If it wasn't the case, I wouldn't tell you that it was. And so now we just say, Lord, you have a reason for what you're getting us through. Thank you for working behind the scenes. Thanks for being under the current. Thanks for just leading us and guiding us. And Lord, help us to follow through now and do what you're calling us to do. It's such a blessing to be walking with our Lord. So a couple of things that are coming up that I believe are, are just innovations that we're trying to do. I've heard of nobody else doing this. And that is we're starting up Kaw University. That's K-A-W for the Kansas River. Both the, the Kansas River is very important to both Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church because both of those churches are very close to the banks of the Kansas River. In fact, I think Oakland might even be closer than Kansas Avenue by just a block or so, if you really looked at the map. So we're, Oakland's about three blocks away. I think Kansas Avenue's about five blocks away. Anyway, we want to encourage you to take advantage of some of the class offerings we will be showing you through Right Now Media. Then we want you to be able to come by and just really get into these classes that we're gonna be offering. Um, right now, the classes are gonna start out at Oakland on October 6th. We have those three classes, and then we're going to do uh, maybe some more as these move on. And if there's an interest, we'll, we'll do some at Kansas Avenue, maybe on an afternoon during the week. Uh, I think people have told me they really don't want to be committed on Saturdays that much, and Sundays are a little bit of an issue. We're going to have, hopefully have a very special movie presentation in the next couple of weeks, though, so stay tuned for that. But again, uh, we're trying to do this when it's convenient to other people, but I need you to tell me what time works for you. So I'm not just coming up with something off the top and then we find out nobody could be there. So anyway, we, we're excited about the Kaw University. It's gonna be for both churches. It'll meet in one campus and it's gonna start out at Oakland about nine o'clock on October the 6th. So hopefully you'll be able to join me there for that and the rest of us we also have many opportunities for you to open up your homes and to do new things. I don't know if, if either of these churches has ever had home groups, but we want to encourage you to open your homes, open your lives, and just share with other people. And again, through Right Now Media, you don't have to do a lot of preparation. You can watch a video. We'll give you a study guide that's available, and you can print those off. And the people in your class would be able to be led by someone who really doesn't have maybe even a lot of leadership skills in the regard of having a lot of experience or training in that area, but because of the study guide is able to lead that group. And I believe as you lead it, you will gain a lot of leadership skills. And I would be glad to work with anybody who wants to lead a group. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited about everything that's going on. Looking forward to talking more about Philippians tomorrow at church. We will look forward to seeing you then until tomorrow, until Sunday. Have a great day. God bless you. And thanks for joining me again on Fresh Bread. We'll hope to talk to you again tomorrow in church.